hello everyone. We are here with uh, Southern Juju. Hello. And the trailer, you can't really see it. There it is, kind of. But we are going to get a car that uh, I never thought in a million years I would have. But uh, it was given to me. Uh, it's a super awesome dude. And we're gonna go pick it up. So let's uh, hit the road for 15 minutes and go get it. Well, we are here and uh, we're about to load up a car that I never thought I would see myself owning. So let's take a look at it. This is a 1966 Chevrolet Corvair Monza. It's actually in pretty decent condition. Somebody was working on it then just stopped. Got some pieces down there in the floorboard, got the wipers down in the back seat. This is an automatic, and the motor is not currently in it. Uh, there's the transmission. I believe it's supposed to be a two-speed power glide, and it's pretty sanitary. What do you think? I like it. It's pretty cool. Definitely. Let's get it up on the trailer and. Uh, See if we can look at it underneath a little bit better because there's currently some black ants up under here and they bite. Yeah. There you go. Oh, we got it loaded up. Winch didn't like it, but we got it loaded up. And what do you think? I'm going to tell y'all, okay? For those of you who do not know, I'm a big fella. I mean, probably the camera probably does a pretty good job. I'm six foot six, about 300 and something pounds, right? Surprisingly enough, as small as this car may look, there is a lot of room in this car for me. I'm, I may look like I'm cramming here, but as you can see, this dash piece right here is, is kind of hanging down. If this is yeah. hanging up, I could fit in this thing and cruise just perfectly fine. Like, Very nice. It's really roomy in here, and it's really comfortable. The seats in here, you can about just go to sleep in here. I'm not even going to lie to you, for real. Like, like sitting awesome. on a couch in your living room, oh, right? Man, this is awesome. This thing is amazing, for sure. We got this thing on the trailer. Let's get, grab my flashlight, wherever I'll set it down at, and... Uh, Take a look at underneath. All right, so far, I'm seeing good. I'm not seeing anything bad on this side. I know I'm not underneath it, but I'm not seeing anything bad. Get on the other side, take a look at the other side. Not that way. <laughs> you see anything? Oh man. This I see good. Is, this this thing gets mean. I see good. This thing gets cool. Yeah. I'm seeing nothing but good at first glance, so that's that's really good. The only areas I know of are the wheel wells pretty much. You can see this one's been, been kind of formed with Bondo. And it's got rust around the wheel wells, pretty much on all the wheel wells. It's got rust, but aside from that, it's pretty solid. Got some rust down here in the fender, up here in the front. The car as a whole looks like it's really solid. And my buddy Ricky's already said he may have some wheels that I that, that I can run on this thing that are going to give this thing a really killer freaking look. So uh, let's get this strapped down. Let's uh, find out what parts are going with it and get it up to Ricky's where it's probably going to sit for a little while. Well, we are here. We got the car unloaded, got the trailer dropped off. I uh, was able to pick up a couple extra parts with it. I may be picking up some more parts next weekend. Uh, we got an extra back glass. I thought it was a windshield, but it's actually a back glass. Uh, instrument cluster and another trim piece that I think goes on the back, uh, on the back end, on the bottom side. But uh, here it is, let's, let's do another walk around. All right, once again, this is a 1966 Chevrolet Corvair Monza with a flat six, automatic, five lug wheels. I do have the motor. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna pick that up next weekend. But 
here it is. I never thought I would have a Chevrolet, but I gotta say, I'm very happy about this one. I think that's gonna be it for the video. Uh, if you like the video, like, comment, and subscribe, and definitely look out for updates on this thing. It will be a back burner project, so don't expect a lot of videos on this right away. Uh, but uh, I will be trying to get the motor dropped in uh, as quick as I can, so it's at least in there. But uh, that's going to be it for the video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and see you in the next one.